of the scapular. So our devotion to her must become a habit. Then he says, there's a covenant. There's a reciprocal communion. She's interceding for us. Behold your son. And we have a devotion to her. Behold your mother. You see that reciprocity, that communion, that covenant that we have in a special way with Our Lady. He, he concludes by saying, Pope St. John Paul II, I too have worn the scapular of Carmel over my heart for a long time. Out of love for our common heavenly mother, whose protection I constantly experience. He's writing this 20 years after the assassination attempt, but I'm sure in multiple other ways too. He says, whose protection I constantly experience. So let's look at some of the catechesis that the Carmelites have on the wearing of the brown scapular. So they say, this is what the brown scapular is not. It is not a magical charm to protect you. It is not an automatic guarantee of salvation. It is not an excuse for not living up to the demands of the Christian life. No, when we're wearing the scapular, we're saying, I want to live the, I want to live an authentic Christian life. And one of the passages that they refer to is St. Paul in his letter to the Romans and the Galatians, where he speaks of putting on the Lord Jesus Christ. And so in wearing the scapular, it's a way in which we're asking Our Lady to help us to conform our lives more and more to Christ, to put on Christ. So that he will say, well, who is my mother, my brother, my sisters? You. You are my mother, my brothers, and my sisters. Because whoever does the will of my father, they are my kin, my mother, my brother, my sisters. So this is a way in which we're becoming part, if you will, the uh, family of Christ. They say the scapular holds us to live as authentic Christians in line with the teaching of the gospel, to receive the sacraments, to profess our special devotion to the Blessed Virgin, which should be expressed each day at least by saying the Hail Mary three times. So when we wear the scapular, there should be some devotion that we have to her every day. And you know, we have many symbols in our human life. Think about the wedding day. What do the spouses do? They exchange rings. Receive this ring, which is a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Receive this ring, which is a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And as long as they're married, they wear these wedding bands as a sign of that commitment to each other, that covenant that they have with each other till death do us part. Well, this is a beautiful, simple way, symbolic way in which we're saying the same thing. Mary, I want to have a special covenant with you so that I can grow in my love of Jesus. You who are the perfect disciple of Jesus, you will teach me. And then there'll be this reciprocity. You're going to be looking over me in a special way especially toward my goal of eternal life. And I'm gonna be looking to you and honoring you and having a special devotion to you, looking to you for your uh, assistance in my life. So the, again, this catechesis says the brown scapular is a sign which has been approved by the church for over seven centuries. Second, it stands for the decision to follow Jesus, like Mary, open to God and to his will, guided by faith, hope, and love, close to the needs of people, praying at all times, discovering God present in all that happens around us. The brown scapular introduces people into the family of Carmel 
and points to renewed hope of encountering God and eternal life with the help of Mary's protection and intercession. So a simple thing, but a beautiful thing, something that the faithful have responded to, to, to wholeheartedly. And I encourage if you don't have a brown scapular to, to get one, to be enrolled in the brown scapular, to wear it, to have a devotion to Our Lady. Remembering that as Jesus said, as he hung upon the cross, words that were for all of us, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. And how he said also, behold your son, behold your children, and to us, behold your mother. And it's, not, it's a wonderful thing for us to have this covenant with the mother of Jesus who will help us to grow in our life and love of him. 